Hello everybody, this is Andrew Roboto 2021 here, and today I would like to do, re or react to some more Childish Teenager videos, and which are made by Matt the Go Animator, who also makes a bunch of various videos, like Childish Dad, and like a bunch of them, just like the real random Ozzy does, and he makes all sorts of grounded videos. So yeah, figured I would do um, part two of this because I have... There's three other videos that I got to react to, and I want to do them for this video. And then as for the other videos that I'll be reacting to, those I will do a week's time, just like with the Childish Dad ones. Because eventually there's going to be so many like with the Childish Dad ones that, that I can only do them a week's time. Which is why it takes a long time for me to do the Childish Dad videos, the reaction videos, because there's just so many of the real random ones they did. But don't worry, I will upload them at weeks, the reaction videos at weeks times, just like with Childish Teenager. It'll be done a week's time. But anyways, without further ado, the f I will react to the first video, which is Childish Teenager Wants to Take a Bubble Bath. <laughs> okay, the title is funny. These titles are funny, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Oh, God. The head... He's watching Kogo Melon, head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Oh my god. And eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. That's a nursery rhyme I watched when I listened to when I was little. I really like Coco Melon so much. That's a nursery rhyme I listened to when I was little. The heads and shoulders, knees, and toes song. Ugh. Wow, a sixteen year old like Alan is watching nursery rhymes from Coco Melon. <laughs> yeah, I'm never yeah, I don't watch that stuff anymore because I'm too old for it. LOL. <laughs> as long as I'm here, Coco Melon is my best friend in the whole wide world. Wow, Coco Melon's your best friend in the whole world. <laughs> Alan, I think you've been watching YouTube for a good amount of time already. He's been watching it for it's too long. It's that you do something else. And another thing, you've been smelling pretty funny this past week. When was the last time that you took a shower? Yeah, when's the last time you took a shower? <laughs> Wait, what? It's been more than two weeks since you last took a shower. Oh, it's been more than two weeks since you last took a shower. Well, well, the only explanation I can give you is that he hasn't taken a shower in over two weeks because, well, he's been too busy watching Coco Melon and a bunch of other baby shows as well as throwing his childish tantrums. <laughs> LOL. And you smell funny because of that. Yeah. So I think now is a good time to take a shower. Exactly. You should always take a shower every day. You gotta stay clean. Cause if you don't, cause you gotta have good hygiene. Otherwise, nobody's gonna want to hang out with you and be your friend. Especially cause then you would smell terrible, and in other words, you would stink up your whole life. <laughs> Here comes the childish tantrum. I don't want to take a shower. Wow. You're too, you're too scared to take a shower. Wow. <laughs> what a baby. I want to watch TV and he's dancing like a baby. I want to watch TV. 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 <laughs> you know what? I'm not going to talk to you for a half hour, but I expect you to be taking a shower by that time. Yeah, please do take a shower. Hygiene is important. Why? Why does my mom make me take a shower? I want to watch COVID. Because Because you gotta keep clean. Hygiene is good for you. It's important to have good hygiene. You gotta take a shower, brush your teeth. As well as floss, and then comb, and then brush, and then keep your hair straight. Like brush or comb your hair, or pat down your hair with your hand with water. Whatever your preference is, it's important to have good hygiene, and put on deodorant too. Cause you'll, cause otherwise you'll have stinky pits, <laughs> stinky armpits. <laughs> yeah. So, in conclusion, good hygiene is important. Because otherwise you'll have bad hygiene and stink up your whole life. No, I know I'm afraid to take a shower. Wow. You're too afraid to take a shower. Aquaphobia. 
Confirmed. You know what I'm thinking. I'm going to take a bubble bath with my rubber ducky. A bubble bath with your rubber ducky. <laughs> oh my god, you remind me of Patrick. Patrick and Spongebob, he takes a bubble bath with his rubber ducky because, well, he's stupid. He's dumb and stupid. <laughs> hey, buddy, I warmed it up for you. <laughs> I love that. Time. This is that one episode. My kids songs while I'm taking a bubble bath. Wow. A bubble bath? Yeah, no thanks. I'm too old for bubble baths. I don't need to take I'm a bubble, take bath. bubble bath. Nobody's too old for take a bath, but... I'll tell you what nobody's too old to take a bath in. I'll tell you what nobody's too old to take a bath in. A jacuzzi. Jacuzzis are relaxing. But a bubble bath? Yeah, no thanks. I'll pass. I'd rather take a bath in a jacuzzi or a hot tub. With a bathing suit on, that is. Because a hot tub is really hot and you would and you would not want to go in a hot tub without a bathing suit. Because it would be uncomfortable. Melon, because this show is very educational. I'd rather take a bath in a hot tub or a jacuzzi. That would be more comfortable. Even though you're not actually taking a bath in a hot tub, it, I'm not going to lie. Every time I go in a hot tub, I feel like I'm taking a bath because of the, the, the water jets. Because there's water jets in a hot tub oh, and I, a... Um, there's also water jets. There's water jets in a hot tub and a... Um, what do you call it? Jacuzzi, yeah. And I actually have a jacuzzi at my house, fun fact. I rub a ducky in my Sesame Street bubble bath. Sesame Street bubble bath? Oh my god. You're too old for that stuff. Now, time to get into the tub. And while I'm taking my bubble bath, I will be singing my favorite Coke and Melon songs. Oh my god. <laughs> he has a rubber ducky? He's too old to have a rubber ducky. I mean, unless it's a celebrity, that is. But a traditional rubber ducky, you're too old for. I will admit I do have a rubber ducky, but it's a Jason Giambi one. Which is an adult rubber ducky, pretty much. They actually make rubber duckies of um, famous sports players and other celebrities. Like, they've made one of Michael Jordan. They've also made one of um, Abraham Lincoln. And, like, a bunch of big celebrities. In fact, I, I actually have a Jason Giambi rubber ducky. It's, it's in my room. And it was when he was on the uh, Yankees. Which, that's a rubber ducky for adults. In fact, you can actually buy them at, at a store. Okay, I have my Sesame Street bubble bath in my rubber Oh, and his mom is there? I'm ready for my bubble bath right now. A bubble bath! <laughs> yeah, not this again. Doesn't Alan realize he is too old for bubble bath? Is that... Does he realize he's too old for bubble baths? Apparently not. Especially with a rubber ducky. <laughs> a rubber ducky! Don't you realize that you're too old to have a bubble bath? And why do you still have your rubber ducky? I thought we sold that at a yard sale several years ago. Yeah, you're too old to have a rubber ducky like that. Like a traditional rubber ducky. But nobody's too old for a celebrity rubber ducky. Nobody's too old for that. It's an adult rubber ducky. Why don't you take a shower instead? But mom, I miss taking bubble baths. I really do. Oh my god. And I especially miss singing my favorite kids songs while taking a bath. I understand you miss your childhood days, but you're 16. You yeah, need to we all gotta move on at some point. Already. That's how life works. And most people your age don't take bubble baths. I mean, that's what I had to do growing up, honestly. Move on from certain no, things because I got too old for that. And I wanted to take a bath with my rubber ducky. I don't want to take a shower. <laughs> Robert. Now don't get me started with another childish tantrum. He's gonna throw another really one. Trust me. Shower. That's most important. And number two, you're too old to take a bubble bath with your rubber ducky. Duh, you're 16 years old and too old Why for that. Why is Alan acting so childish right now? Tom, he always behaves this way in certain situations. This time, I asked him to take a shower, but instead, he wants to take a bubble bath with his rubber ducky. A bubble bath. Really? I'm 13 years old, yeah. and I don't take bubble baths anymore. Exactly. I just take showers. Tony's 13 like years old. He doesn't take bubble baths. Does. That is what Alan needs to do this moment. Tony's 13 years old, and he doesn't take bubble baths anymore. 
I agree with you. And Alan, you better stop acting childish and take a shower, or no cocoa melon for the rest of the day. Here we go. No, 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 no. I'll take a shower only if I take a bubble bath. A bubble bath won't count. A bubble bath does not count as a shower. It's a bath, all right? A bath, you're sitting in a tub. Shower, you're standing up. Like, and and you're standing up. I mean, I'm less of your handicap, that is. For handicapped people, they use a handicap accessible shower where they sit on a bench. I'm going to take your Sesame Street bubble bath and your rubber ducky. I'm going back downstairs because this is way too embarrassing. Totally embarrassing. No, not my bubble bath. Please. Not my Please. bubble bath. Not my bubble bath. Oh, Please. she's gonna sell it, trust me. Please do yeah. sell it. He's too old for that stuff. No! For the love of Burger King, you need For the love of Burger King. Oh, I love when Catherine's voice is in this. I want my bubble bath. I want my bubble bath. <laughs> Can you please drag him into the shower? He needs a shower. <laughs> Motor car crying. You're not watching Coco Melon for the rest of the day. Now take a shower. Don't take away Coco Melon. I love Coco Melon. Motor car. <laughs> stop it. Just stop it. Just stop it. I love when Catherine's lines are like thrown into these type of videos. Because some of Catherine's lines are hilarious. <laughs> For the love of Burger King. Oh my. Oh my god. That's another funny one. Okay. The other two funny ones I gotta watch are, let's see. Okay, here's what I previously was going to do first, but I want to do them in chronological order um, at the time of the release. Next one, Child's Teenager Tries to Order from the Kids' Menu. And then we have the latest one to do, which will be the last one I do for this video. So, yeah. Hang on, I just got to get this on full screen. I apologize. Now we can play it. There we are. I apologize for the brightness. I don't know why it acts up sometimes, but uh, guess I may never know. So, kids, what are you going to order? Here, let me get the volume up. I was thinking of getting classic broccoli chicken Alfredo. Ooh, that's good. I'm thinking I will get a bacon ranch grill. Oh, nice. They're at Apple. They're at Applebee's. Nice. I love Applebee's. It's a pretty good restaurant. And look, here comes the waitress. Have you all decided? Sorry, I gotta fix the screen. I are you all ready to order? I didn't realize it was crooked. I do apologize if it's a little yes, crooked. And I would like to go first. I would like to get a classic broccoli chicken Alfredo. I'm going to get a bacon ranch grilled chicken sandwich with a side of waffle fries. Ooh, that's really good. Waffle fries. And for you, what would you like? I'll take the kid's cheeseburger, and I would like a coloring book and crayons while I'm waiting for the food. <laughs> A crayon and coloring book? Oh my god. Excuse me, miss. But Excuse me, but you're too old for that, to buddy. From the kids menu, let alone color in a coloring book with crayons. <laughs> he is 16 years old. Wait, I am not too old to order anything from any menu. Besides, I'm not too old to order anything from any menu. I'll be right back with your orders in 15 wow. to 20 minutes. I have to wait another table. But I can be back in the next five minutes if you want to change an order. <laughs> oh my god. He clearly wants to order from a color a crayons and coloring you book. That no one your age draws in coloring books because those are for younger children. Yeah, nobody Especially does a year nobody does at sixteen years old. And Who you're does too old to order from the kids' menu. If you look at the menu, it says up to age twelve. When the waitress comes Who in the world orders what kind of sixteen-year-old would order one in a restaurant? That's he's too old for that. You should order oh, something uh, from the regular menu. 
Get a burger or something. That'd be better. <laughs> oh, here comes the tantrum. <laughs> now, don't get me started with a tantrum, especially in a public place where everyone can see us. I just want to order a Kit's cheeseburger, and I also want a coloring book while we're waiting for the food. I just miss my childhood days. Don't you see? The kids' menu is only for ages 3 to 12, and you're 16. Why don't you order from the regular menu instead? You see, I don't draw with crayons anymore, let alone exactly. kids' coloring books. It's Tony's 13, years, only old. 13 exactly. years old. Also, I had a feeling this was going to get really embarrassing. Oh, it's totally embarrassing, Tony. I think Tony has a point. Besides, you don't want to embarrass everyone in the restaurant with your tantrums, do you? Oh, he's going to embarrass everybody, as usual. <laughs> I want a coloring book. I want a coloring book. Why can't you let me draw in a coloring book with crayons? Alan, no! You're not getting a coloring book, and that's final. It's fine that you miss your childhood days. That you need to realize that you're 16 years old and you need to move on from those days. More importantly, you're embarrassing yourself, the entire family, and everyone in this restaurant. You're embarrassing the entire you restaurant. Your That's what you're doing. Tantrums and get up off the floor. <laughs> Don't call me childish. Don't call me childish. Don't, Don't call, call me childish. childish. Don't call me childish. Don't Says the person who acts like a child and throws tantrums and cries like a motor car. <laughs> LOL. Don't call me childish. Don't call me childish. Don't call me childish. Don't call me childish. I'm 16 years old. I'm only upset. Well, you're not acting like you're 16 years old, buddy. Well, maybe if you stop throwing those tantrums and at your age, I would not have to call you childish. Now get up off the floor. He clearly is childish. Unless you want us to get thrown out of the restaurant. Oh, they're going to get thrown out. Oh, volume warning. <laughs> and the whole screen is shaking. <laughs> I just love the volume warnings when somebody throws a really loud tantrum in these videos. Because then the whole screen shakes. It's just funny. Okay, now I can raise the volume back up since the volume warning is done. <laughs> LOL. That's just too funny. <laughs> Excuse me, are you all part of this boy's family? Yes, we are. This is my oldest son who is throwing a tantrum right now. Clearly! <laughs> I want to tell you this, but I have to. Because your son's behavior has been embarrassing for everyone in this restaurant. I'm going to have to ask you all to leave the premises. That's it. Well, this is what happens when you throw when a 16-year-old throws a tantrum like, like Tony in a public building. Then you're most likely going to get kicked out. Like he just said, like the employees said, said they were. Alan, we are going straight home, and you're going to be sent to your room when we get home. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Stop it. Just stop it. Catherine Lyons classic. <laughs> Alright. Last video, last video for... Last video I get to react to, which will be the last one of the video, is the latest one that I was uploading, um, which I believe was a few weeks ago. I could be wrong. It was either a month ago or a few weeks ago. I'm trying to remember. Uh, yeah, it was three weeks ago. It was three. It was three weeks ago. I was actually correct. It's three weeks ago. Three weeks ago, which this is the latest video to be uploaded. And this will be the last one I react to is going to be ch childish teenager gets scared of the car wash. Wow, he's scared of a car wash. 16 years old, scared of a car wash. Wow, lol. <laughs> it's one thing if a little kid is scared of a car wash because I mean it's their first time going through one with their parents and like the noise obviously scares them because of like. Because it can be noisy, but a 16-year-old like him isn't. It shouldn't be scared of. It's too old to be scared of a car wash. And besides, 
Eventually, you'll get used to a car wash. I mean, it's not that scary. I mean, it's not like there's a monster living in there. <laughs> the car wash monster. <laughs> it's actually a good one I came up with. <laughs> All right. Hey, Mom, where are we right now? In fact, it's actually it's actually fun. It's actually cool cool going through a car wash. Cause not only does it not only does the you get to see the the pressure water as well as the the rotating and spinning brushes clean your car, but also the dryer. The big dryer. That's the in fact it's actually fun, cool and fun going through a car wash. And the best part is you put you get to put your you put your car in neutral because your car is on a conveyor belt. And it pulls it in for you. That's actually the best part about going through a car wash, because it's pretty, it's pretty cool going through one. It's pretty cool going through a car wash. I always like wanted to go through one. When I was a kid, I would always want to go through one. <laughs> always crying. As I was saying, when I, I remember when I was a little kid, I would always get all like me and my brother would like. And my sister would get all excited whenever my parents went through a car, like drove their car through a car wash, because it was just, because it was just fun going through one and just looking at all the machines working and cleaning your car. And I still like going through car washes. It's, it's they're pretty cool. Wow, wow. Alan's scared of a car wash. <laughs> wow. It's not raining in a car wash. That's just that's just the pressure water. It's just like spraying down the car. It's how it works. I mean, that's what a car wash uses: pressure water to spray down the car. <laughs> it's not raining inside the building. It's not actually raining inside. Those are the machines that are washing the car. Next, there will be machines that will be putting soap on the car. And the last phase, the car will be rinsed. Yeah, it's how it works. Like, first for a car wash, like, at the entrance, the attendants, um... Use a pressure water, a pressure washer, and spray it on the car. Then the conveyor belt starts moving. You go through a series of pressure water that gets sprayed on your car, like a pre-soak. Then you go through the rotating brushes and the spinning brushes, which has the gets the soap, which puts applies the soap on it, just like the pre-soak. Then you go through the rinse, and it rinses all the soap off. Then you go through the dryer, like that big. It, which is a big fan that like boils it all off. No, I am not going. And it's a very strong dryer. Make it stop raining. Make it stop raining. Make it stop raining. That's how a car wash works, like a typical car wash. It's pretty cool. I've gone through it many times. It's it's fun going through it. Once. I'm sorry. It's just that I especially don't like it when it's raining, so that's going to be much louder. It's not raining in a car wash. That's just the pressure water. So that I can be safe from this scary rainstorm. It doesn't actually rain in a car wash. It's just pressure water. Yeah, you, why would you want a teddy bear? Teddy bear in the car. And number three, you're too old to have a teddy bear. Those are for younger children. Why a teddy bear? <laughs> Exactly. I'm not scared of car washes either. It's not actually raining. Those are machines that are washing the car. Yeah, they're machines that wash the car. It's pressure water. It's how a car wash works. It consists of machines that wash your car for you. And your car is on a conveyor belt that pulls the car in for you. It's actually the conveyor belt's pretty cool. Because then you don't have to drive through the car wash yourself. You can just put you just put your car in neutral. You put your car in neutral the whole time you're on the conveyor belt. You put it in neutral. It's going to be even more embarrassing when we go to the 
and you keep it in neutral until you reach the exit. Make it stop. 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 Make it